Hey guys, Chip Walters here, and I'd like to talk a little bit more about sketch style and some things that might be of interest to you. So we're going to call this a Chip's Tips episode, and let's get started. So here we have some kind of very soft amorphic shape, and we're going to do a quick sketch style rendering on it. So I'll load sketch style. I'll scroll down. I want to use Eevee, and I'm going to turn off the lighting. And with that, we'll quickly do a rendering. And there we have it. The line weight here is a little bit too light. So I'm going to go ahead, escape out of this, change this to two, and change this to one. So I want the alpha to be one in both of these. I'll change the, the interior thickness to one. I don't need edge mark. We're not using that right now. But there we have it. Let's do another rendering real quick. And so this looks actually pretty good. Um, we do have some crossing going over here. We have some little noise going in this area here. I can amplify that if I want by simply turning off the extend lines and adding, creating this to three. And now you see what's going on. We have a little bit of chatter right along this edge and a little bit on this edge too. So what I want to show is how we're going to fix that very quickly. The way we do that is I'm going to come over to the fourth tab over here and we've got three different line sets that match these up here and I'm going to select the first one and that's actually coordinated with the heavy back outline freestyle line set and under strokes I'm going to just turn chaining on and now when I do this render you'll see that it basically fixes all of that but the only problem we have is this little gap here and a little gap here so how do we fix that well that's pretty easy all I'm going to do is extend the lines probably something like two pixels and then hit render again and now We've got a perfect line. Now, let's take a look at one other use case, and that is if we go into our modifiers here, I'm gonna add a decimate modifier. I'm subdivide this, let's do four times. So we've got kind of a really coarse edge around here. So if I hit the F12 key now, you'll see that you can see it's very faceted around these areas. And how can I fix that? So that's simple. We're gonna go back into our fourth tab here, which is the layers tab. And down here, and in the Geometry tab, I'm going to add this one modifier called Bezier Curve. And now when I go to Render, you see that it smooths out quite nicely around these areas. Even though sometimes it's a little bit bumpy, it's still significantly better. Okay, so say we want to create a render like the previous one, but we also want to have all these edges render as well as contour lines. So how do we do that? Well, first we'll select our object, we'll tab into it, we'll select all the edges, we'll go under edge and we'll say mark freestyle edges, we'll tab back out, but notice the density changes when we tab back and forth, and that's because we had set earlier this modifier, so I'm going to delete this modifier. Now that this modifier is deleted, now we can look and see that we have edge mark turned on and we've marked all those edges. I'm going to change the thickness just a little bit here to 0.5, and let's go ahead and now and run a render. And you can see it works. We do have two gaps right here. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to adjust our extend lines to five. And I'll hit an F12 for another render. And you can see that now we've got pretty much a perfect render. So that's great. Now the next thing we want to do is let's figure out how we're going to save this to our own custom preset. And let's do that very quickly by coming down to the sketch style utilities. And with nothing selected, we can hit the export button and notice when we roll over that it says export all settings to blend file to do so you firstly need to save your current file you're working on so let's go ahead and save that and now that it's saved let's go ahead and hit this export now it's going to ask us for a file I'm going to export this in my sketch style settings and I'm going to call it sketch style outline and mesh and now it's exported, so let's try it out. I'm gonna go File, New General, and if I look at this object, I will go ahead and add a modifier. We'll do a subdivision surface. We'll do simple. And let's do like that. And now I'm gonna apply all the modifiers. And now with this set, I will go into my sketch style. I'll say load. Outline and mesh. We'll load all those settings. Now we're in the sketch view. Let's go ahead and look at our camera view. And if we look here, we'll see that we need to turn on our EV. 
I am going to actually zoom in a little bit more like something like this and I'll tab into this I'll select all I'll go to edge mark freestyle tab back out move it around something like this and with EV select I'll hit F12 and now you can see we have our imported new settings applied to this particular scene. So I hope this helps some of you that are using the new Sketch add-on and we'll see you online. Thanks for watching.